everyone welcome back to another video long time no see i thought i'd do a little life update before i just post regularly <laughs> last time you saw me i had covid for christmas and that was great i had a lovely christmas despite having covid and i didn't have taste for christmas dinner but a few weeks later i was able to have a second christmas dinner at reese's house because we missed it so um that taste came back then so that was nice to have to be able to taste it and um, i wouldn't say my smell is back to what it used to be i used to really live by my smell and it was very i had a very strong sense of smell and i just don't anymore i mean that's kind of a good thing because i think my sense of smell was a bit much of a curse but sometimes even when i have chocolate like i had this whole box of chocolates i've not finished it yet but they're still all tasting the same i couldn't tell you if there was any difference between them so it's it's there but it's not 100 percent there anyway and um, so that's the update on post-covid life my brain fog is lifting a bit i had a really bad brain fog after covid i would forget everything and um, i don't know whether it's lifting or whether because i've lived on my own for the past four days no one said anything to no one's asked me any questions so i've not had to think of anything but i i think my brain fog isn't as bad no idea if this is linked but just whilst i'm editing this my brain fog started to lift the same time i started to get back into reading I've not read in months and then I started a book the other day and the timeline matches up. It could just be a coincidence but I don't know whether using my brain to do reading and stuff has helped lift the brain fog. I don't know if I was really frustrated with the brain fog and the bad memory so if you're struggling with it maybe try reading or something that exercises your brain a bit maybe. I'm not sure it, I've just realized now it does the timeline does match up. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, I'm back at Durham. This is my final term. Crazy time. So I came here on Tuesday and um, I've just been working on an essay ever since really. I'm here alone at the minute. Caitlin's coming in a few days. So um, I had an essay due today and I started it before Christmas. Um, and I worked on it all week. And for some reason, I started working on it yesterday at 3 p.m. And I thought I only had like a couple, a few things to do. I was still working on it at 8 a.m. this morning. I pulled a full all-nighter, so I've slept all day. So that's gonna work great for my sleep tonight. But yeah, um, that was probably the most stressed I've ever been for an essay. They've changed it. How they used to do um, Durham was, or at least my modules, you would do the modules for the full year and then have your exams and summative season in the middle. Um, and you'd normally have two assessments for each module but now it's gone to we only study each module for one term and then we have the assessments after Christmas then we do different modules this term and then the assessments and they've done it really badly because my friend has that at her uni and so they don't have classes in January until all their assignments are handed in we do I still have assignments due throughout all of January but I've also already started my classes. So because I had to put in so much effort to this essay this week, I've missed class. I've missed three classes because I've been trying to do this other essay. Like they've planned it out badly. And it's, I've, I get stressed about essays, but I normally am fine. Like I get them done to a point that's okay. But with this one last night, it was horrific because it's 100% of our mark. Like we only have one chance. Um, which definitely makes it a lot more stressful, which I'm not thriving with at the minute. Like, I've never been a perfectionist on essays. I normally do what I can, think that's all I can do, and again, I'm normally like, well, that's my best. But last night, I just, I finished writing it. I finished the workout maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, but then last night, I was still working on it for 18 hours, I was working on it, and that's not healthy. Classes were online for the first two weeks, um, so they were online this week. And I'm really sad that I've missed them because now they're going back to in-person, and I do not thrive with in-person. I'm, I just can't do it, I can't focus, it's too stressful, and I don't really go to an in-person lecture because I know that I'm going to sit there, I've tried. Don't get, I have tried, this has been a problem for a very long time, I'm not just making excuses, but I will sit there and I will spell, spend the whole time focusing on staying in the class 
and not leaving rather than paying any attention to what we're being taught so I don't learn anything it's literally a complete waste of time because I physically cannot focus when I'm in a lecture of like millions of people so I was really loving the online because I can a live not a recorded online but a live online zoom really worked really well for me when I did it in Cologne I was so excited that I could finally pay attention and knew what was going on then last week I had a few two-hour lectures and I couldn't believe that I knew what was going on but then now it's going back to in person so my time to actually understand what's happening has been dismissed which is great <laughs> How am I doing physically? Well, I have a really bad wrist. Thought I'd throw this in there because it's literally taking over my life at the minute. I'm supposed to be making tea right now, but I can't because my wrist hurts too bad. But I'm on my own, so I don't know how I'm gonna eat. I always had twinges in my wrist. This could be nothing, but it's my life at the minute, so I'll include it. I always had tw twinges in my wrist for the past couple of years. And I just always assumed it was how I slept. So I stopped sleeping like that. And, um, in the past few weeks it started to get really painful and it wasn't just when I was holding it at certain angles and stuff it would just be painful in itself um, and then last night you'll see this most of this is in a vlog but I just brushed my hand on the desk like I got up and just brushed my hand to steady myself and it was agonizing I thought I was gonna be sick and I was shivering I don't know it just I just got the worst pain in my wrist and then since then it's been like really bad but it's been quite bad for two weeks i've been planning to go to the doctor i've just seen how it's gone but today i literally just can't really use it which is great um i've iced it and after this i might go to boots and get some ibuprofen or something this was actually a real pain because this was agonizing for weeks and um that night after I had to order takeaway because I couldn't cut up any food. When I ordered my takeaway, I couldn't even cut up my takeaway. I couldn't, I, there was bits of chicken. I couldn't even cut it up because I couldn't hold the fork. I couldn't even hold the fork, let alone move anything. Um, my wrist was agony that day. Um, so I rang the doctor because I was like, enough's enough. Next day, wake up. It's only slightly painful. So now I've got a doctor's appointment on Monday and I think I'm gonna cancel it because if it was the pain that it's at at the minute, I would not be going to the doctors for it. I was only going to the doctors because it was excruciating for two days straight. But now it seems like it's still back to twinges. So it's like how it was months ago. So thanks for that body. I love you. Probably cancel the doctor's appointment now. <laughs> I'm thinking it's probably repetitive strain because that's meant to be really painful, isn't it? But the thing is my left hand is useless. Like. I've compared it with other people's non-dominant hands and it's more, it's just really, really bad. It's got no, I can't even do this with my left hand on a normal day. So I don't know, like, what was I doing that caused repetitive strain? Because it can't do anything, so why, why would I be using it? What else have I got to say? Oh yeah, health-wise in general, um, how is my well-being? It's okay. Um... My New Year's resolution is definitely to make happiness the default because I would say for the beginning of 2021 up until I came to uni, for once happiness was my default, which it's not normally, my default mood is not normally happy, but for 2021 until uni I was super happy and like my default was happiness, but then since I came back to uni and even when I went home for Christmas because I'm back in uni, um, the default has not been happy it's been very very sad so i'm trying to get that happiness back up what how i explain it is when the default is happy it doesn't mean you're happy all the time but happiness is, comes easy and little things make you happy and you're just bobbing along and um something has to happen to get you into like a sad mood whereas at the minute because happiness isn't the default I've just been quite sad um but then also I find that when when I feel like this which I've always felt like whilst at uni doing fun things and happy things a happy normally doing fun things make you happy and then that happiness continues whereas for me I feel like I run out of happiness if I do something too if I do something too like bubbly or something I feel like I run out like if I've had a really good day then I'm only gonna come crashing down so much worse 
at the end of the day. So that's how I feel at the minute, but I'm trying to work on that. At the minute, I'm just so... My brain is like fuzzing because I have so many exciting plans for when I leave uni. And it's just this little hurdle of awfulness because we all know I've never been a fan of uni. Um, it's just this little hurdle that I have to get through. But I have so many plans for next year and I'm so excited for them. And I just can't wait to do them. But I've, I'm like a, when someone's racing and they're held behind the thing. You know what I mean? That's how I feel at the minute. And I feel like my brain is just like a band, a, a rubber band, getting stretched, excited, excited, but then boom, we're still waiting. I hope you enjoyed that metaphor. That's where I'm at at the minute. I do have really exciting plans, and especially YouTube. Like, I think that's why I've not filmed that much the past few weeks. I've filmed loads this past week, but I've not posted for about a month because the, my exciting plans for next year in, involve YouTube. So posting this content now, even though I like posting this content, it's it's not the exciting thing I've got lined up. I need to live in the moment, but at the minute I'm living by myself, writing essays, so there's not really much living in the moment one can do. I'm so excited and I've got so many plans, but I just can't do them yet, which is fab. I can't think what else to say. I don't have a job anymore if anyone didn't watch Vlogmas. Um, I lost my job, so I've not got the best income. Spent all of Christmas in my overdraft, but I'm finally out of it, thank God. Oh, this is exciting. Um, so I'm not doing a dissertation, I'm doing a behavioural science project, which is like a dissertation, but you hand half of it in before Christmas. No, you hand half of it in at Christmas, which is your plan. You have to do a proposal, which is part of the mark. And then, so that was a 2,000 word proposal. And then... Um, this term I do the experiment and then I have to do a presentation and then I hand in the write-up of it at Easter and I got my proposal mark yesterday and I got 80% which is the highest I've ever got which is exciting but then I found out it's only 25 that's the one module that's split so everything else is mainly 100% of the module in one assignment but for behavioral science there's three parts to it and it's a my 80% is only 25% in the module, so that's a bit sad. I'm aiming to get a 2-1, hopefully. I think because I took French in second year, that really brought my grade down. I've not got hope of getting a first, because um, French really did me dirty, but hopefully I can get a 2-1. That's the aim. I think I worked out I'd have to have like 80 on everything to get a first, I think. I guess that is my life update i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe i have exciting videos coming up and i'll see you in them thanks for watching bye <laughs>